I am glad you landed here because this is top secret. I am going to show you how to have X-ray vision superpowers right here in DaVinci Resolve so you can see through your audio clips, help line things up, extend out things like atmospheric sounds, maybe a drum loop. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Array, but let's get in Resolve and uh, don't tell anybody that I'm telling you this because really it's top secret. Let's go. In DaVinci Resolve here, I've got a little ambient atmospheric sound in my timeline and I want to extend it out because this one's only 30 seconds, but I want to make it longer. So let's jump over into the Fairlight tab, musical notes at the bottom here. Now, if we were to copy this, right, we could use our option or alt key, click on the clip, hold and drag it over. And while we're dragging it, we can see through it. But if we were to let it go, say here, boom, it's going to overwrite the clip. And then let's say we wanted to adjust it, we would have to go like this or move this over a little bit. And it's just not as easy as it could be. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that real quick with Command or Control Z. Now what we wanna do is enable layered audio editing. So you wanna come on up to Timeline and come down to Layered Audio Editing. Go ahead and turn that on. So now if I use my Option or Alt key, I'm gonna select my clip, Option or Alt, click, hold and drag. I'm still gonna be able to see where they kinda of overlap there. I'm gonna let go of my clip, but now if I were to come and take this and add a crossfade, or actually a fade that automatically turns into a crossfade here, just by grabbing the handle on my clip, we can actually see how they're overlapping. And maybe I wanted to move my uh, point where they overlap, I can just drag it like this, and we can see where that overlap is happening. And maybe I wanted to move this clip back a little bit. I can go like this and you can see that we can see through the clip and see both clips. Because although we see it like this, what's actually happening, if we wanna see how our layered audio is working here, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. We're gonna come back to the view menu and we're gonna come down to show audio track layers. So if I turn this on, this is what's actually happening with our clips. We can see that we've got our first clip that was there, then our second clip that we copied, but they're overlapping. And when we add in this fade, it's actually creating a crossfade between the two clips. Now this is different than if we were not using layered audio editing because it would just cut the clip, right? So if we had this clip where it is, let me just show you what this looks like. If I turn off layered audio editing, go back to view, I turn off audio layers. So if I were to just take this clip and copy it here, boom, it cuts it. And if I move it now, they don't overlap at all. It's actually cutting the audio clip. And so this clip right here is actually getting cut. So if I, I would have to extend it back out if I wanted more of that clip. So if we come back, go timeline, layered audio editing, view, show audio track layers, you can see this clip right here now is actually cut, right? As opposed to in these two, in the beginning here, they actually overlap each other. So it comes in real handy when you're trying to line things up and you don't even have to view it this way, right? Where we can see all of the layers, we can turn that off and delete this one. So if I select my clip here, we can just move it, line it up, we can fade it in and here's kind of what that sounds like. I mean, if that ain't a smooth transition, I don't know what is, right? That works pretty good. So now that you got the gist of it and kind of how it all works here, before we jump into extending a drum loop, I wanna take a minute and thank today's sponsor, Motion Array. If you like the cool atmospheric sound that we were just working with in this video and the drum loop that I've got coming up, I got both of those from Motion Array. Motion Array is a one-stop shop where I go to get any kind of overlays. I get templates for text, for transitions, for titles, for logos. I like to get stock footage there and photos. They've got great music and sound effects. Really, it's like a one-stop shop to get everything you need to help take your videos to that next level and make it awesome. I started using the Motion Array years ago with their free account, and I used that for a long time, getting some of the free music, some of the free images and free overlays that they have. So if you're on the fence, not sure if Motion Array is for you, sign up for a free account, try it out. You got nothing to lose. You're going to be able to use those assets in all of your videos. And if you decide, hey, this is kind of cool, I think it's something that might work for me, you can go ahead and sign up with Motion Array with a paid account and have access to all of their awesome assets. So a big thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump back to Fairlight and I want to show you how we can take a drum loop use some of that x-ray vision, line things up, and be able to extend it out to make it as long as we want. But let's say I've got another example here that's a drum loop, right? Here's what that sounds like. Okay, so I wanna extend that out. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing, right? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, select my clip, option roll, click, hold, and drag. And let's say oh, I put it there. Now I'm not sure if that's where I want it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna select my clip and just click and hold on it. And now I can slide it around and I can line up the drums however I want, right? I can try and find the spot that looks like it's gonna line up really well. Let's say maybe I wanna try there. I'm gonna add a little bit of a crossfade here and let's see how that sounds. I mean, it's pretty smooth, right? And I think that works a lot better than if we were to do it the other way where we're not using our track layers, right? Layered audio editing. So if I were to just delete this, let's say we're gonna go to timeline, we're gonna turn off layered audio editing, zoom out of touch. If I just were to copy this over, I'd actually have to shorten them a little bit, right? In order to get our crossfade to go on there. So let's say, yeah, I do that maybe, maybe I do this. We put them together, we open our audio effects, our transitions, we grab the crossfade, drop it on. Here's what that sounds like. So it's not as good, right? But if I wanted to make the adjustment to where they're overlapping, I'd have to either, you know, grab my, uh, my clip, slide it over, but then I don't know where it's exactly at. I could move this, but then I gotta open this back up. It just is a little bit more work to be able to get a good result than if you use the layered audio editing to be able to blend things together and use the crossfade real quick by just grabbing the handle on top of your audio clip. It's just gonna make things work a little bit better for you instead of having to guess as much, right? It's gonna just give us a tool to be able to see exactly what we're doing when we're trying to line up those clips. And you can do this not only with, you know, a pad kind of like I had here, an atmospheric sound, you could do it with really any kind of audio that you're trying to blend together. So I wanna encourage you guys to get in there, try it out. Maybe this is a feature that uh, is gonna work for you in your projects when you're trying to extend out. This could be a music, you know, it could be music, could be a sound effect, could be anything. It's just gonna give you a good visual on exactly what you're doing without having to guess and try things and then move things and then try things and do it again. It's just gonna give you a little uh, X-ray vision to see what you're doing a little bit better. A big thank you to Motion Ray for sponsoring today's video. And if you are interested in some awesome assets, one-stop shop, head on over, check out Motion Array. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've been using them a long time and it's great stuff. It really just helps speed up my workflow, add some cool things to your videos. And I don't think you guys would regret it if you check it out. By the way, they do have a free account with some free assets. So even if you don't wanna pay for it, jump over there and grab some of the freebies because who doesn't like freebies, right? That's what I did for a long time before I uh, you know, had access to everything that Motion Array has. So big thank you to Motion Ray. And uh, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Layered audio editing. It's like onions. Audio has layers like onions. It's like ogre. Ogres have layers like onion. <laughs> that ain't no brimstone, donkey. <laughs> Shrek. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Anyway. Yeah. All right. I think uh, that would be good. Now I need to do the... Um...